We are on our way to a town, a location, a castle, uh, to not be dived into anymore location-wise, but somewhere outside of Nashville, Tennessee. And that is where George Kittle resides in the off-season, 49ers tight end, personal friend of the podcast, and guy who invited us down to record podcasts for tight end you here, and we're very excited about that. So stay tuned. This vlog is going to be dog shit uh, because that's not who we are, but we're trying to get some footage. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you soon. to do a workout in the infamous uh, George Kittle barn gym, which is now twice of what it was. It's actually like, I would say probably tripled in size with the new addition. This actually is about the same size as the old weight room at Iowa. Iowa weight, yeah. yeah. Um, a little bit smaller, but. If you combine the two, I'd say it's, it's, like it's the, the same, same size. size. Yeah. So, so, you know, George is, he has it all uh, here. He's working out in a weight room for him, um, but it's really, more than just for him he and he talked about this in the podcast too he basically built this thing so that all the boys could come out and literally do what we just did there was probably 12 of us doing a workout together um and so this is it if grant if you want to get the shot of right in there um so that's through, the old barn in that's there. the old barn in there that is where they used to have under kind of under that second level a bunch of the treadmills and everything placed under there um now this new space has been added on, and this is just gym space. So, um, you know, it's got everything that you need. Um, over here, four strength racks, right? So this is where we started our workout, little barbell complex, did some RDLs, some high pulls, a little front squat just to get the muscles going. Um, I don't know what happened. Did you catch what happened here? Uh, yeah, so they had a little bit of flooding in through the doors there, and that unfortunately got the platforms on the racks a little wet, so they had the fans in here. So they picked those up. Kluber went walking on those. I, he wasn't supposed to. He George, yelled at. George looked at me very seriously and goes, yeah, Kluber, don't walk on those. And I was <laughs> like, okay, that sucks. Anyway, the platforms have been kind of t torn up. This is like the very much so like a strength keep space area here. Of course, we have the Monarch, which is for Iowa fans. You've seen the Monarch be sort of, uh, I don't know, advertised. This is a gun machine that is personalized and computerized. And you can literally run routes. You can program it to throw it any kind of pass that you want. Everything in here is techno gym. So, I guess the owner of this Techno Gym company is a 49ers fan and was like, yo, we need to get George hooked up with some equipment. So this whole thing is just elite. Turf down the middle. We were, I wasn't because back, but Kevin, Drake, the boys were all pulling some sleds. Benches, mirrors, kind of a traditional look there. Dumbbells. Um, we use dumbbells for like Bulgarian split squats. Then you have like your cable machines, and these are like not your average cable machine. These are like nice ass cable machines, aren't, weren't they, Kev? Those things are sick. Yeah, I, especially I like that one on the right. Yeah, it's so sick. Um, hack squat for those who are familiar with a hack squat machine, but also allows you like do jumping. We did ju like uh, resisted jumps on it, um, and then uh, we will take you right out in the corner there. We'll, we'll see in a sec, but we will take you guys out there. Brand new patio of like recovery, hot tub, cold tub, sauna. Um, before we do that, we're gonna walk up to the field and see a brand new, what is it, like 30 or 40 yards? I think it's like 40 yards 40 long. yard turf yeah. field with a custom uh, George Astra Kittle logo. George Kittle, Sierra Miedo logo. Um, so we'll go there now. It's not a full width field, but. Uh, no, so you're probably looking at a little more than half width. 
Yeah, it's, uh, it's about two thirds. Yeah, so you've, you've got like a two thirds width field and then you have, let's see, that's 10, this is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, 40 yard field. George was telling me that uh, Claire's dad, who we, when we rolled up was in a skid loader, just moving rock everywhere. He, they had to dig this thing 12 feet down to in, to like put it in, right? So, cause in a turf field, there has to be drainage. There has to be a bunch of like levels underneath it before they then add the turf on top. So he dug out like six feet of uh, the 10 or 12 feet that they had to dig out across the entire square footage of this thing. Um, just to save George like thousands of money. Uh, and there goes Bain. And out to the recovery patio. Uh, hot tub. A little patio to relax. cold tub. George literally right before our podcast was in this, got out, dried off, came to the pod, and then a brand new sauna with shingles. Oh wow, it's got a it's got a nice clear So, that's pretty uh pretty decent. Oh, and it is hot in there. So, uh, when you're a professional athlete and you are resources as well as George. Um, I believe this is a cold plunge as well. Yeah, just a plunge. So he's got plunge. There's a rubber ducky in there. Hilarious. And then another plunge, hot tub, sauna. Anyone who's into like health and fitness stuff right now uh, knows that sort of the hot cold therapy is something that is really popular and athletes like George are using to make sure their bodies feel the best all the time. So Brand new patio, and I'm jealous as fuck. <laughs>